Membrane switch key pads. What's the most common failure? Moisture migration. Where does the moisture typically come in from? The tail exit position. When this part's mounted and the tail's in the electronics, the tail filler piece will fill in the void area left by the retracted circuit. The main area for moisture to come in is on the two channels above and below the tail filler piece. How do you get rid of that? You create a perimeter gasket. You take the tail filler piece and you wrap the tail filler piece all the way around the perimeter of the part. This is referred to a lot of times as a NEMA gasket or things like that because it'll pass washdown tests. This part with the tail filler piece with the top tail exit, moisture will sit on the top edge of the part, run down the two channels, sit on the circuit, and cause it to oxidize over time. The gasket design is, doesn't have any highways for moisture to work its way into the circuit. So you have two top tail exit parts. This one will fail over time and this one will be durable for very long periods of time. If you can't control the tail exit, which is top tail exit is less than ideal, another way to help yourself is to have the tail exit within the edges of the part. The internal circuit with a short tail with the exit here, it never makes it to the edge of the part. So a tail filler piece stays within the entire within the part itself. So you can have a gasket, but it's not required as long as you don't have the channels exiting to the outside of the part.